I tell you, if you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, then you ain't black. Poor kids are just as bright and just as talented as white kids. Maybe you got the first sort of mainstream African-American yeah. who is articulate and bright and, and, and clean and nice-looking guy. Biden recalling his early Senate career, bringing up two segregationist senators, Herman Talmadge and James Eastland, who called African-Americans an inferior race. I was in a caucus with James O. Eastland, Biden said. He never called me boy. He always called me son. At least there was some civility. We got things done. The senators that he is speaking of with such adoration are individuals who made and built their reputation on segregation. The Ku Klux Klan celebrated the election of one of them. Using the word boy in the way he did uh, can cause hurt and pain, and we need a presidential nominee and the leader of our party to be sensitive to that. My Democratic colleagues don't like me saying this. I think the two-party system is good for the South and good for the Negro, good for the black. Other than the fact that they still call me boy, I don't think they've, I think they've changed their mind. As also noted, Robert C. Byrd was a parliamentary library, a keeper of the institution of the Senate, and he was the institution itself. For a lot of us, he was a friend. He was a mentor and he was a guy. 1987, he bragged about getting an award from George Wallace. Biden bragged about an award from the notorious segregationist Governor George Wallace and told the Philadelphia Inquirer, I think the Democratic Party could stand a liberal George Wallace, someone who's not afraid to stand up and offend people. You cannot go to a 7-Eleven or a Dunkin' Donuts unless you have a slight Indian accent. Unlike the African-American community, with notable exceptions, the Latino the Latino community is an incredibly diverse community with incredibly different attitudes about different things. They're going to put you all back in chains. Biden was remarking to an audience in South Virginia that included hundreds of black voters. Hey, and Haiti just quietly sunk into the Caribbean or rose up 300 feet, it wouldn't matter a whole but lot. The reason I was able to stay sequestered in my home is because some black woman was able to stack the grocery shelf. One thing Biden is being slammed for is the crime bill he helped write 25 years ago that many critics say resulted in mass incarceration, especially of young African-American men. Unless we do something about that cadre of young people, tens of thousands of them, born out of wedlock, without parents, without supervision, without any structure, without any conscience developing it did contribute to mass incarceration in our country there's about a hundred thousand of them if you want to be uh, rhetorically uh, extreme about it that are the who are the predators they are beyond the pale many of those people we have no choice but to take them out of society it's awful hard as well to get latinx vaccinated as well why they're worried that they'll be vaccinated and deported. Because I was 29, I'm like the token black or the token woman. I was the token young person. Even call centers was rushed overseas in the hundreds of thousands. How many times you get the call? I'd like to talk to you about your credit card. Again, you have to start off with what they start off with. There's less than 1% of the population of, of Iowa that is uh, African American. There is probably less than uh, four or five percent of that is uh, our minorities. Um, what what is in Washington? I think it's the vast majority. Yeah. So look, it goes back to what you start off with, what you're dealing with. If you were, you know, the emperor right now, you you're running the show. What are the things that you would do, Lee Kuan Yew? who most foreign policy experts around the world say is the most, the wisest man in the Orient. Hunter once re refused a date because of his own Asian hate. In the 2019 exchange, his cousin Carolyn offers to set him up with one of her friends, to which Hunter replied, no yellow. But uh, there's one more band member that I want you to meet. Ladies and gentlemen, our vocalist tonight, Michael Jackson. Michael, would you please stand? First son Hunter Biden repeatedly called his white attorney the N-word. He's a grown man. He is the smartest man I know. Hunter Biden reportedly wrote to his attorney, quote, How much money do I owe you because, N-word, you better not be charging me Hennessy rates. In another message, Biden began a text to his attorney with OMG, N-word. And Biden responded at one point with true that N-word. He lied to 
to voters, according to the New York Times, uh, quoting aides of, of Biden's, about having marched in the civil rights movement. And I got involved in the civil rights movement uh, just as a kid. I came out of the civil rights movement. I was one of those guys that sat in and marched and all that stuff. And the New York Times reports, quote, more than once, advisors had gently reminded Mr. Biden of the problem with this formulation. He had not actually marched during the civil rights movement. And more than once, Mr. Biden assured them that he understood and kept telling the story anyway. That is really, really weird. The Washington Post has given President Biden uh, four Pinocchios. Liar, 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 is how I'd describe it, for claiming he was arrested as a teenager while attending a civil rights protest in Delaware. They write, quote, the primary source for this story is Biden. We've learned over the years that he's not always a reliable source. One chapter receiving fresh scrutiny comes from his earliest years in the Senate, when he strongly opposed mandatory school busing. It was designed to achieve integration and a more equitable education. What's less known is how he followed the lead of some of the Senate's most fervent segregationists. Working with segregationists on an anti-busing agenda is very... Very scary. 1977, Biden worried that his children would grow up in a, quote, racial, his words, jungle if integration is not done in a, quote, orderly way, whatever that means. On March 25th, 1977, Biden wrote, my bill strikes at the heart of the injustice of court-ordered busing. It prohibits the federal courts from disrupting our educational system. Biden sought and received support from Mississippi Senator James Eastland, the Democratic chairman of the Judiciary Committee, and a leading symbol of Southern resistance to desegregation. I think the concept of busing, which implicit in that concept is the question you just asked, or the, the statement within the question you just asked, that we are going to integrate people so that they all have the same access and they learn to grow up with one another and, and, and all the rest is a rejection of the whole movement of black pride, is a rejection of the entire black awareness concept where black is beautiful, black culture should be studied, and a cultural awareness of the importance of their own identity, their own individuality. And I think that's a healthy, solid proposal. 